is the house of God. This is the house of God. This is the house of God. I was thinking this morning, it's not a temporary resident. It doesn't It's not a traveling show that comes to visit once in a while. It is the mistress or master of the house. And I have the privilege of knowing it. This morning, um, I heard part of a poem by James Cruz, C-R-E-W-S. And the name of the poem is Awe, A-W-E. And it really touched me because in the house of God, in the experience of knowing God in the world, I am filled with wonder and awe all the time. It is just the nature of life being born all the time. You can choose, he's talking about a, um, the wonder of what's happening in the world and being in the middle of an ice storm. You can choose to pause, pick it up and hold the cold branch in your hand or not. Few tell us that wonder and awe are decisions we make daily, hourly, minute by minute in the tiny offices of the heart. Tilting the head to look up at every tree turned into a chandelier by light striking ice in just the right way. Now that's a unique experience of being in an ice storm, but what about the wonder of the person who just showed up in front of you? Do you see the house of God? Do you see that you're co-residents of the house of God in the midst of the creation? And just as God is not a visitor, but a resident in this being, what is the atmosphere that I'm bringing? And I thought about what it's like when I have company coming to my house. All of a sudden, the house has to be clean. You know, we straighten it up so people feel welcome. Does God feel welcome in this capacity? Do I feel at home in this capacity? Because I maintain an atmosphere of wonder and awe and gratitude, mindfulness, because I constantly choose to make sure that the atmosphere is one that welcomes that spirit so that we lift each other up, that when those things come in that don't really belong in the house of God, we can assist in ushering them out so we can welcome in the truth of who we really are. <laughs>